Hardcore sucks. You know what sucks even more? Hardcore challenges. I'm gonna attempt beating hardcore, but with only moving towers. And this time, I'm not gonna suffer alone. I'll be allowing our team these towers. Feel free to pause. Let's get right into the first attempt. So attempt one, we tried to do a match on crossroads as getting a third person was taking a while. My teammate had ace pilot, so he was our early defender this game. The ace pilot is arguably the best early defense tower with its crowd control, with its only weaknesses being its RNG and the map you were playing on. I was farming and as you could see, I was pretty optimistic about this. As expected, Ace Pilot was clapping the early rounds until about wave 8. I stopped farming to place two elf camps to prepare for the hidden waves. Although the spawns admittedly suck at the start, it is actually more cost efficient than military base on level 1. So wave 10 arrives, and I placed on a military base for extra measure. Sure it was not perfect, but only leaking 2 HP was not that big of an issue. You know what is a big issue? That red bell subscribe button. Balloons appear, and you know, I'm not even gonna bother explaining them when I can just say one word. Ace pilot. Okay, it was two words, but whatever. Word. Uh, we actually came pretty close to leaking balloons, but uh, yeah. Wave 14, my teammate got his ace pilot to level 3, which would be a massive defense boost. The big hidden rush on wave 14 was the next turtle, and honestly, I thought we were done for, but the Humvee spawned right on time, making us barely lose any HP. Wave 16, I got a crook boss up, and my teammate placed down a DJ. The Mega Slow on Wave 19 appeared, and honestly, I was not that worried yet. Our army was starting to form, but then I realized that the Mega Slow existed, and sadly, it got to the spawn with us only being 40 HP from surviving. That was only our first attempt, though, and we finally got our first teammate, Dexo. So during strategizing, I was getting the hint Dexo was not signing up for hardcore, but I think she just went with it. We had a mini strategy meeting, which to sum up was basically me and Sen do the same thing and Dexo gets a tank up for the bosses. Early game went by just fine, until the hidden spawned, so we lost a bit of HP, but it was fine, you know. Wave 12 we got two mutated zombies, which I did not know was a thing, so I thought it was a glitch, okay? Not enough. We got a mutation of free on the next one. Everything was once again going as planned. The mega boss spawned and this time we were ready. The Mega Slow was getting chipped away, and after getting pretty close to our spawn, it got finished off. Wave 21, we got the Necromancer, but it's usually not that big of a deal. There was, however, an actual big issue. See, Hardcore's Wave 25 is basically the hardest wave, besides Wave 50, especially on this challenge. Why? Well, there's three fast hidden zombies, and, well, there's not a lot of hidden detection options with Pursuit and Engineer, both having next to no hidden detection. This left us with basically three options. Tanks from military base, ace pilot, and elf base's ripped elf. As we strategized beforehand, we tried the tank option. Dexo got the level 3 military base, but then an issue popped up. Money. So uh, yeah, we did not have enough for tank, and worst of all, it was wave 25. Before we even got the chance of damaging the hidden bosses, the mega slow ended up getting us in the end. Quite a rough attempt. Attempt 3, we tried Wrecked Battlefield instead. The longer map allows the spawners more time to spawn, making them overall perform better. Sen got an ace pilot up at the front, whereas we farmed again. After the starter waves, which we definitely did not struggle on, we got to the mega boss. This time it was not that big of a close call, which made the attempt look pretty promising. We basically followed what we did last time, and finally we reached wave 25. Now I'm gonna pause the video, and guess what's the problem here? A. Our towers suck, B, the mega are eating all the spawns, C, hidden bosses. Well, it's all of them, we died, man. This time, our counter to hidden bosses was Dex getting a max ace pilot with help of the DJ discount. Wave 25 started, and it was finally time. Time to beat those shadow bosses. We got the ace pilot up, and the hidden bosses were in range. The first hidden boss got defeated quickly, so this was already our best run. Second, a bit late, but sadly, the first squeezed by with 80 HP, and the Humvee was literally a second away from spawning. Attempt 10, we tried getting multiple level 3 ace pilots up with the max one this time. Reason being that the max one would get the other's hidden detection for 15 seconds every wave. It sadly ran out midway though, so the other ace pilots were basically useless, and we ended up losing to the shadow boss with 80 HP. Cherry suggested we try Crossroads, but Dex summed it up pretty well. 
Attempt 11, it was Dexter's last game before they had to go, so we had to try our best on this one. Somehow Jerry only realized I was a content creator on this attempt, which was weird since I literally advertised it as a YouTube video challenge. We did the same strategy for the most part, but somehow our economy was pretty bad and could not get a proper defense, and the last hit and boss leaked with plenty of HP, it was not even close. After taking a mini break, I tried finding new people to join the team again. In general chat, someone suggested me to ask Souls to join, but I thought it was not online. But then he typed in chat right after, so I'm like, oh okay, I'll ask him. No reply. Attempt 12, I had entirely new teammates, so it was pretty draining explaining what to do, when honestly, I myself was not entirely sure. A ton of hefty zombies leaking, but hey, at least we got a Humvee train up. Skipping to the later waves, my teammate got the DJ discount up, so I upgraded the elf base to max. But as you can see from my reaction, yeah, you need to wait 80 seconds for it to just spawn. We died by the time ripped off was halfway to spawning. This made our only viable option ace pilot, as elf camp and military base were just not cutting it. Attempt 13 on wave 25, Robert came in clutch by selling farms to max his ace pilot as well. We had two, so this was promising. Despite our efforts, the last boss had 50 HP. Attempt 16, we tried testing Golden Crypt boss's early defense, especially since it got a buff. But yeah, might still need a small buff to be honest, we lost pretty fast. Attempt 17, we gave Golden Crypt boss another chance by using it later on and attempted the hidden bosses again. I also got a commander with Cold to Arms this time. We were literally just 25 HP from surviving. How does this happen? Again, the team sadly disbanded and I got a new team together once again. Attempt 18, our teammate scout did not equip ace pilot, so you know what's gonna happen. Attempt 19, we had a big brain idea. So ace pilot gives off hidden detection to towers for 15 seconds, right? So why not get pursuits? And so we did actually reach wave 25, but pursuits targeting isn't the best and you can see for yourself, yeah, we ended up losing, and I was starting to tilt. Again, our one teammate had to go, but thankfully, this would be the final team. I gave him his tower loadout, and we were going all in on this. Okay, no, we lost four more times, ranging from hidden to hidden. But after the 24th attempt, I sit in the lobby, I have a feeling the next one is gonna be it. I honestly did not, but I felt the need to up the morale, you know? Wave 25, the wave of all our problems arrived and we were ready. A max ace pilot, call to arms commander, engineer, we had it all. I sold my farms to afford it so it was all or nothing. First two got defeated easily, but the third was getting close. Just before it got to our spawn, the ace pilot squeezed the last bit of damage to finish it off. Finally beating that awful wave felt so great and morale was at an all time high, especially for me it had been like 8 hours at this point, I, I was so sleepy. I quickly got more commanders up as the wave 27 rushers with their high speed and decent health was not to be taken lightly. Surprisingly though, we cleared it with no issues. Wave 28 was when a ton of rushers came, so I made sure to use commander and once again we were doing really good. Soon after I got a third commander up to chain the ability consistently. Now it was time to grow the moving army. Firstly, we concentrated on getting pursuits up with their mix of crowd control and single target damage being a pretty attractive option. Wave 31, we got the first Fallen Titan. Although not being that big of a deal, the stun can make things go south pretty quickly. We cleared it before the next enemies arrived though. Wave 32, 5 hidden bosses spawned. No problem, right? Well, uh, we barely upgraded our hidden defense, so we got pretty close to dying there, scary stuff. I soon got another ace pilot down to improve our hidden defense, cause I was not losing to them anymore, please. My teammate also got his DJ maxed a few waves later. Wave 36, the first boss grave digger spawned, but we finally had a mini boss of our own. Mecha base. Ok no, it was ripped off. Sure it might not be that good, but each attack deals 140 splash damage with a bigger explosion radius than even mortar, so it deserves some respect. Oh. Gravedigger was getting chipped away fairly quickly without not even getting too far into our defense. This was looking promising. I finally got a commander maxed out, which I probably should have done sooner looking back. Everything was starting to come together with multiple gunner and ripped elves on the map. 
Wave 39 lead balloons showed up, which gave me some PTSD from the solo hardcore video, but this time it was them getting clapped. Wave 40 onwards was beautiful, with the spawners starting to really stack up. I repositioned one of the commanders for a better spot so it covered all the towers, and wave 40 to 42 was a breeze, with only the tanky slow kings managing to get halfway. Wave 43 glitches spawned, which was fine, but the circuits made them go super fast, which got pretty sketchy. Thankfully, the pursuit actually caught up and basically nuked them. Now, here's where a problem popped up. Zpart had to go in 5 minutes, and we still had 7 waves to go. Negotiations quickly took place, with me asking for a 2 minute bonus. Sadly, he had a test, which was understandable, so I did not argue any further. Wave 44, the Molten Boss arrived, and to say the least, he got obliterated. Wave 45, Soul spawned, and we almost lost to it, with me not even noticing it go by. The rest of the zombies started getting closer and closer, but our last stand of engineers made for a solid defense. Wave 46, we had a few souls rush through, but we looked decent overall. Necromancer boss spawned, and I could keep talking about it, but it's it's free money. It's, it, wave 47, the soul bosses were really starting to get close to the spawn. Like, we've almost lost three times now, it's insane. The fallen swordmaster itself went fairly well, with us getting railgun and normal tanks up and running, as well as max pursuits. The boss was making a steady pace through the map, however our towers were doing some serious damage, with it finally getting stopped a bit more than halfway through. Sadly, Z part had to go. Hope you did good on the test, man. You were a noble teammate. Now it was down to me, my teammate Scout, and two more waves. Wave 48, Falling King spawned. Scout was really hopeful about the final wave, as you could see, so morale was still looking pretty good. Falling King did manage to get pretty close, but our damage was good enough to finish it off before it got sketchy. Wave 49 was basically a preparation wave, with me getting more pursuits up and selling my farms. Wave 50 started, and it was finally time. It was only the start of the wave, and we already had a few souls pushing through, to the point of almost losing. But uh, good enough, you know? Void Reaver spawns, and I'm too busy sweating to even properly look at him. Four circuits made of indicator teleport to our spawn in like 5 seconds. We lost. I, I would have given up here, but after a week I just could not end it like this. After a few more hours of painful grinding, 